Hello fellow realtors and welcome to your Bayes Buzz. I'm your host, Doreen Roberts. As you know, I've been collecting a list of unprofessional behaviors that we're all dealing with in our marketplaces. But first, let's remind ourselves what the difference is between unethical and unprofessional behavior. The Code of Ethics defines the actions that are considered unethical. And when a realtor takes action inconsistent with the Code of Ethics, there is a system of enforcement to handle that through professional standards. However, actions not quite rising to the level of being unethical, but still a source of frustration and ill will amongst other real estate professionals, we call that unprofessional behavior. You know unprofessionalism when you see it. For example, it's when you arrive at your listing and find the doors unlocked after other agents have shown your listing, or even worse, when you get the call from your seller because they found doors to their home unlocked after a showing. Let's continue. You read the lockbox activity and find agents have shown your listing, but they never left their business cards. Or they didn't leave lights or window coverings the same way they were found. And who can forget when unprofessional agents let clients use toilets in your listing and then leave without double checking they've been flushed. Yuck which leads up to when staging props are used, like decorative soaps and towels in bathrooms, or when agents carelessly either leave or allow their clients to leave coffee cups, food wrappers, or other litter in your listing. My personal pet peeve is when an agent comes into an open house dressed like they just got done surfing on the beach, and then they don't bother to identify themselves as a realtor. But the granddaddy of all the unprofessional behavior the one we hear about the most frequently is when an agent doesn't return phone calls. How does one serve the best interest of their client and not talk to agents that have interested buyers? This one actually borders on unethical behavior for sure. Unprofessionalism damages reputations and relationships and that can affect income. So what to do? To acquaint yourself with the best practices for professional behavior, check out NAR's Pathway to Professionalism tips found on the Realtor.org website at the link below. If you're having issues with other agents' unprofessional behavior, you can make a personal contact and directly discuss your concern with the other agent. Or you can contact the association and ask for an ombudsman to intervene anonymously when possible on your behalf. Remember, real estate is a reputation business and what you do today may affect your reputation and business for years to come. And hey, we're going to send a special savings coupon to those that subscribe this week to Bay East video YouTube channel. So subscribe now. And next week, I'm going to be talking to some of our seasoned professionals to get some interesting insights on tips that will be helpful if you're a new, new agent or a seasoned pro. So be here and, of course, have a great week.